In female reproductive system, we completed ovarian cycle simultaneously oogenesis procedure. Now, next one that is menstruation cycle or yeah, menstrual cycle. Female primates, which are the example of primates, monkey, apes, human. In this animal, female primates, the reproductive cycle run, that is, can say menstruation cycle. This menstruation cycle repeated at every 28 to 29 days. At puberty, start nearest 12 year of age. At the puberty, first menstruation start, that is cancer minarch. And in female, around 250 year of age, menopause phase can at that time menstruation cycle stop. So menstruation events run in a life of a female from menarche to menopause. Between these two phase menstruation cycle running that is extended from menarche to menopause. Menstruation run that is indicate normal reproductive phase of female. In last lecture, we completely know about two ovarian cycle during first to 13 days, one events, second events 15 and 15 to 28 days. 1 to 13 days duration, FSH increases that stimulate the growth of ovarian follicle and ovarian follicle produce estrogen. LH Onwards 15 days to 28 days effect of LH. LH uh, develop corpus luteum and corpus luteum secret more progesterone and uh, some amount of estrogen also. Estrogen and progesterone affect onto the wall of uh, uterus especially on endometrium. We know clear cut this is the epimetrium, this is the myometrium. Now third innermost layer that is endometrium see here first to 13 days which event take place FSH increases so ovarian follicle develop ovarian follicle producing estrogen estrogen concentration increases inside the female blood leads to under the negative feedback control under the negative feedback control FSH concentration decreases but is negative feedback control that is already we discussed in a time of hormone chapter as well as in a chapter of excretory and osmoregulation related to ADH. The effect produced by the hormone stop its secretion, decrease its secretion that is cancer negative feedback control. So estrogen increases, FSH decreases, so ovarian follicle rupture. So estrogen decreases towards what? 13 days. Then next 15 to 28 days phase. LH increases so corpus luteum develops so that secreting the progesterone and estrogen. Here also negative feedback increase the concentration of the progesterone leads to negative feedback result. LH decreases. LH decreases so corpus luteum regress means degenerate. Leads to progesterone estrogen both decreases. So towards at the time of 28 day of uterine cycle as well as the ovarian cycle, both the cycle, menstruation cycle is also can say uterine cycle. At the 28 day, there is a lower concentration of progesterone and estrogen inside the female blood. Less to what happen? Endometrium break. Their uh, tissue and blood flow leave outside the body through vagina as a form of fluid and run what? Menstruation. Now we have to learn here what is the effect of estrogen and progesterone onto endometrium. 
So by 2 13 days temperation, whenever the estrogen increases, estrogen start to build endometrium. So endometrium become thicker, granular and reaches with the blood vessel under the effect of a estrogen. This endometrium get thick, reaches with the blood vessel as well as the glandular. So broken endometrium which is rebuilt with the help of estrogen towards first to 13 days. Now 15 to 28 days time duration progesterone maintain endometrium which is uh, built by estrogen. So, under the effect of uh, progesterone endometrium maintain as it is linked. and become muscular muscular means uh, rich with the blood vessel so endometrium they are continuously maintained as it is least, so needs of uh, progesterone but see uh, towards the end of uh, ovarian cycle as well as the uterine or yeah, menstruation cycle 28 days Corpus luteum already degenerates, so progesterone and estrogen both concentration decreases. Leads to endometrium not supported by hormones, so endometrium sloth off, is breakdown. Tissue of endometrium plus blood vessel break, their flow run outside through vagina as a form of fluid. So endometrium break, their flow as a form of fluid run outside the vagina, that is can say menstruation. And this menstruation run minimum 3 to maximum 5 days. During that time female loss blood nearest about 50 to 150 ml this much amount of blood lost by female yeah between 50 to 150 any data the answer also true now after 28 days first day second day third day fourth day up to fifth day menstruation flora 1 to 5 day menstruation flow run, 1 but 6 day estrogen concentration once again increases. That start once again to develop, regenerates endometrium and 1 but 15 days progesterone maintain this wall uh, as it is like. So 1 menstruation run. One menstruation flow run for 3 to 5 days. After 3 to 5 days, once again these are built up under the estrogen and progesterone. At the 28 days, low concentration, once again start menstruation. So first menstruation occur, then arriving second menstruation. So the event take place, cyclic event take place between first menstruation to next menstruation that is can say menstruation cycle. Now, this is all the condition we explain if ovum is not fertilized with the sperm. But see, if ova fertilized with the sperm, so fertilization event take place inside female body. After fertilization, embryo pass through oida and come in uterus. Ovulation occur at 14th day of ovarian cycle. So after 14th day, fertilization take place. At that time which phase run? Luteal phase run, progesterone present, estrogen present, 
that maintain the wall of uh, endometrium ready for the procedure embryo came here an embryo exist in a wall of endometrium this event is cancer implantation so if fertilization occur so after fertilization what procedure take place implantation during implantation occur at that time which phase run luteal phase run what is implantation embryo exists in a wall of endometrium that is implantation and most of implantation take place in a upper part of a uterus that is fundus okay now endometrium need the progesterone why because endometrium in female body have to maintain as it is because embryo already implanted but see here progesterone increases lh decreases so corpus luteum degrades so progesterone decreases progesterone decreases so endometrium break endometrium break so implanted embryo can came outside along with the menstruation flow but actually this thing is not happen why because implanted embryo their outermost layer there is cancer trophoblast there is cancer trophoblast and this trophoblast who produce hormone hcg hcg full name of hcg it is human chorionic human chorionic gonadotropin implanted embryo the outermost layer that is trophoblast that produce hcg and hcg maintain corpus luteum as it is here. so corpus luteum produce progesterone and progesterone maintain endometrium endometrium maintenance required for the first implantation and then uh, next all the events related to pregnancy so now once again if fertilization take place so implantation after implantation most of the other at the fundus location so outermost layer of embryo that is trophoblast producing human chorionic gonadotropin hcg that maintain corpus luteum actually corpus luteum maintained by lh but lh decreases due to progesterone increases so now corpus luteum maintained by hcg okay so pregnancy run endometrium remain as it is not break endometrium not break it means no menstruation absence of menstruation that indicate pregnancy run inside the female some of the other situations also there there were also no running of a menstruation not coming menstruation as like uh, any trace is there or uh, very very poor uh, health poor health condition trace condition there were also menstruation not run but see female is healthy by all the ways even though menstruation cycle not run it means means menstruation flow not came it means implantation occur inside the female and female is pregnant so if fertilization occur so menstruation stop stopping of menstruation that is indication of pregnancy run now suppose ova is not fertilized so no fertilization no implantation no trophoblast no hcg no hcg so corpus luteum degenerate corpus luteum degrade so progesterone estrogen decreases wall of endometrium break menstruation flora so two situations there if fertilization occur so menstruation stop no any event take place related to menstruation during the time of pregnancy but if there is no fertilization no hcg corpus luteum break so menstruation flow running continuously 
ಮೆನ್ಸೂರೇಷನ್ we already learn inside the excretion chapter just uh, we are doing the revise here one uh, kit available from medical store in this kit this is the area there where we have to take the reading and this is one small pore there where we have to introduce the urine of a female there where we have to check pregnancy is there or not okay here we add the four drop of uh, urine after addition of a four drop of urine just single band can so that indicate this kit is functional no hcg present in urine it means no any pregnancy but along with the first red band second red band can that indicate hcg present in urine so hcg present in blood so implantation occur female pregnant so this is the pregnancy test kit that is can say a graven dex test that is graven dex test that is already we learn in excretion chapter just there is the revision so here important question which hormone in female body indicates for the test of pregnancy so there is hcg now pituitary hormone affecting on to ovarian cycle and ovarian hormone affecting on to uterine cycle or the menstruation cycle both having a relationship so now with the help of one chart we will learn the relation between these four events pituitary hormone level affecting on to ovarian events and ovarian hormone level affecting on to uterine events now here we representing the pituitary hormone level affecting on to ovarian events and ovarian hormone level affecting on to uterine events here we mention the days alternative first third that is 29 28 and then first day for next menstruation cycle this is the middle line 14 days there were event take place that is ovulation that is also can say ovulatory phase ovulatory phase now we know this is this is developing ovarian follicles and this is mature ovarian follicle ovarian events this is developing primary secondary tertiary follicles now this is mature means graphian follicle mature follicle. now ovulation at the 14 day of uterine and ovarian cycle it means middle of a uterine ovarian and menstruation cycle ovulation take place now this is developing corpus luteum developing corpus luteum and this is regressing corpus luteum if there is no fertilization so so there is cancer corpus albicans regressing corpus luteum now we have to mention here the different phase of uterine events means menstruation cycle first to fifth day run menses means menstruation flow run from first to five day it means maximum menstruation five day minimum three so first phase of uh, menstruation cycle that is 
menstruation phase. That time duration, that extended minimum 3 to maximum 5 days. In menstruation cycle, first day to 5 days, there is menstruation phase. Then next one, 6 day to 13 day, 6 to 13, that is follicular phase or proliferative phase during endometrium proliferated. Endometrium proliferated and start to rebuild. 14 day ovulation. 15 to 28, 29 days, endometrium more build up, more vascularized under the effect of progesterone. This is can say luteal phase or the secretory phase. Here, during luteal or secretory phase, endometrium start to produce the milk and that is can say uterine milk. That's why it is can say secretory phase. So whenever in embryo came, if fertilization take place, so embryo get uh, nutrition directly from uterine milk before implantation. So ovarian events and uterine events finish. So uterine cycle or menstruation cycle divided into three phases, beginning with the menstruation phase, then the follicular phase or proliferative phase, and then next one that is luteal or secretory phase. In between these two phases, one event take place that is ovulation, so that is ovulatory phase. Okay, now we have to mention the pituitary hormone and then ovarian hormone. First, we mention here hormone FSH. This uh, yellow line indicates the FSH. First, FSH increases, so follicular start to develop. Then, follicle cells start to, follicular uh, development increases, leads to what uh, concentration increases? Level of estrogen increases. As a ovin follicle rupture, so estrogen decreases. Estrogen once again increases because corpus luteum producing what? Estrogen. When corpus luteum regenerates, so estrogen decreases. So estrogen two time increases towards the 6 to 13 days as well as also nearest about 25, 23, 25 days due to corpus luteum. So this is uh, the line of uh, FSH and this is for the estrogen. Both having a relationship, estrogen increases, FSH decreases. FSH decrease, uh, estrogen decreases, FSH increases. Okay, now LH. LH concentration. LH concentration increases and maximum at uh, 14th day. That is, can say LH search. Now LH affecting on to progesterone, no corpus luteum initially, so progesterone very very low, but as the corpus luteum develop, progesterone increases, corpus luteum break, progesterone decreases, no corpus luteum, progesterone less, corpus luteum start to increases, build up, so Progesterone increases, corpus luteum degrades, so progesterone decreases. So, pituitary hormone continuously increases during the follicular phase and maximum at the 14th day of uterine, ovarian or menstruation cycle. 
at 14 the LH concentration that is maximum that is can say LH surge that is LH surge here to spike at 14 days this is LH surge and this LH surge stimulate ovulation this is the line for FSH this is line for LH this is the line for the estrogen and this is for progesterone so that during entire cycle progesterone only one time increases why because that is coming from corpus luteum but estrogen two times slight increases so now this is the relationship between pituitary hormone affecting onto ovary, ovary and hormone affecting onto menstruation cycle. Now with respect to this chart, uh, there is a lot of number of questions can be asked. Which are the hormone affecting onto uterine cycle or the menstruation cycle so first answer estrogen and progesterone which hormone indirectly affecting onto uterine cycle so FSH and LH so option A estrogen and progesterone B L FSH and LH and option C both so both answer that is true but out of these two pair just you have to select one on uterine cycle affected so estrogen as well as the progesterone which are the hormone affecting onto ovarian cycle so direct answer FSH as well as the LH now see here if there is no fertilization so corpus luteum start to regenerate sorry degrade corpus luteum start to degrade onwards 23rd day of a menstruation cycle it means after 9th day of ovulation ovulation occur at the 14th day after 9th day corpus luteum start to degenerate if there is no fertilization take place onwards 23rd day